Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we were actually in the temple here, proper, but I only just entered in, and now it's time to explore a little bit. Uh, unless the door is sealed and I can't go in. Okay. Well, I guess we go the side paths then. I guess. Can I open this? I can. Oh, hello. Oh. That's the one I want. There we go. That worked out. Alright, so there's already Sith inside. What we expected. Okay. That's fine. Sith are already inside. That just gives me an idea of what I have to fight. And there's droids. Okay, interesting. Well, that worked out better than I hoped. Also, it got two of them in one shot. <laughs> I think that's the more shocking <laughs> development of the whole thing. It got both of them. All right, let's see. Well, hello. Uh, let's do a wave, and then do combat. Bye. Alright. Whoop. Revan, Lord Malak told us you still live. At last, a challenge worthy of my skills. I grow so bored with slaughtering you for my training. I intensified my training tenfold in hopes I would get the chance to face you in mortal combat. Okay. I'm glad to see my training has not been in vain. Whatever you say, bro. Whatever you say. I have no idea where you're at. Where am I? What? Um... Dares intrude on our meditations. You know the penalty for Revan. You are found. Um. <laughs> I don't think I know what's happening anymore. Why is everyone in combat right now? Okay. Um. Anyway, to focus on this conversation, um, I am Revan no longer. I serve the Light and the Jedi Council now. Malak told us what happened to you. Mm -hmm. The Jedi Council has stripped you of your power. You are a shell of what you once were. I you don't know about that. The Sith anymore, Revan. Darth Malak will reward us greatly for destroying you. Right. Well, have fun with that. I'm going to do this. And... Oh, well, there's that one. I have no idea where I am right now. Okay. Well, everyone else finally joined me, so that's nice. Oh, jeez. I just realized how, how low my health is. Oh, boy. Ooh. All right. Well, throw on an advanced med pack just to give me some leeway. Because, boy, oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, all of that training. All of that training, and you couldn't even last. Ha. Huh. Must be embarrassing for you. Alright, Sith Power Gauntlets, Dark Jedi Knight Robe. That's weird. Uh, lightsaber and Sith Energy Shield. Okay, Dark Jedi Knight Robe. That looks blue, almost. Um, is it better than... Not really. But it is blue. It's a different color than the other one. Dark Jedi Master Robe. Huh. I might as well give that to Jolie. I'm surprised I didn't already. Um, Queldroma. That's right, I did give that to a Jihani. That's right. Okay. Um, okay. I think that's everything. Everything combat-wise, we could hope to get 
achieved. There's another Dark Jedi Knight robe that's blue. Interesting. Anything on you? Yes. An Opari crystal. Another blue Dark Jedi robe, but this one's a master. Interesting. More Sith power gauntlets. What are those, anyway? I have a plus four off of these. These are a plus three. I see. Well, just because they have the name Sith on them does not mean that they're tainted. So, might as well do that. Okay. Time to heal up as far as possible. There we go. Okay. Well. I'm pretty sure we cleared all of the evil <laughs> that we could possibly deal with in all of this section. I, oh, I can't get into here? Screw you. I can't get into here. Give me in. There we go. Advanced med pack and life support packs. Okay. Amazing. More amazing. Light repeating blaster and Zabrak disruptor cannon. Interesting. Oh, it's locked? Okay. Well, in that case... Busted open time. Alright, cool. But this one. Cool. Alright. Now, let's go to the workbench and see what that crystal is that I picked up. Was... Upari. Ooh! Extra damage and attack. Strangely, this crystal is usually encountered scattered in the orbit of primarily forest worlds. It is brittle but versatile. And a Master Jedi can get it to produce many effects. Huh? Huh. Interesting. Let's create one similar. Okay. Sigil. Okay. Let's give it to... Who will I give it to? It's a good question. I don't know who to give it to. Hmm. Damond... Yeah. Yeah, hers are set up that way. Let's give it to Joe Lee and get rid of the next door crystal here. Give him the Upari one. But I'm not sure about the Luxem okay, that's an ion thing, okay. Furkren is basically the same thing as Luxem. Hmm. All right, well, then that works. We're good. All right. Should be fine. At least for now, should be fine. Okay. Well, we fought through literally all of the rooms <laughs> we could have gone in, it looks like, except for this one. Hey, a Sith Acolyte that we didn't fight yet. How about that? Ow. And away he goes. To death. Welp. Just as I expected, we'd be tearing through the enemies here no problem. I just didn't expect that little weird bug issue that we had to look through. Also... Shouldn't the island that this thing is, like, built off of be visible from this direction? Shouldn't it? I mean, you can see all the other islands, sure. But the island that, you know, this building was built at least semi-partially on, we should be able to at least see it a little bit, shouldn't we? I mean, I know backgrounds were hard back then, but... I, I don't know. Seems lazy to me. Ooh, a rusted droid. 
well, I could fix it. And I have a lot of computer spikes and repair parts. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, reactivate the droid. Do all of that. And engage in patrol mode. Sure, why not? Why not? It is literally the least expensive it could ever be to do all of that. All right. Okay. So far, so good. Cool. More of those. Always great. Wow. More droid stuff. Droid motion sensors type 3? This is the first time I've run into anything of those more than, like, type 1. Yeesh. Well, hello, deadly frag mine. That's the only thing I can do. <laughs> really? There was not much else I could do. Rusted covered pillar. Oh? I have no idea what that crystal is, but I kind of want to know. On the same hand, though, I have a feeling it's not going to be good enough to justify changing any of my other crystals. So let's look through the Apari one. Where was it? Saf Sapith. Sapith. And it's damage plus three and attack plus two. I don't think there's much that that will be better than yeah not better than the diamond crystal for sure hmm yeah not much more better maybe that's one we'll give to uh maybe that's one we'll give to uh -da -ba -da. damn what's her name <laughs> Bastila, there we go. Damn, I haven't had her in my party for so long, so my brain just does not remember the name. I'm not sure if I should feel bad about that or not. I don't think I should. I think that's normal at this point to forget the name, possibly. Eh, is it? No? Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Time to move on through this direction. Prototype droid. Well. Oh, hello. Oh, it killed our other droid. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. And that worked. Okay, this is going to take a long time beating this thing because of the shield it's got going. Alright. These droids killed our uh, other droid that we sent out. That's unfortunate. Alright, there we go. And that should control course of the battle. Strong box. Wow. 5,000 credits, construction kits, life support packs, and two red crystals. Okay. More than I expected to get out of that, that's for sure. What is this? Temple Catacombs. Okay. I have a feeling I shouldn't be going there yet. So I won't. Primarily because I know there's probably an entire different section of this map I should be traversing first. If for nothing else than to get lots of loot. Well, hello there. 
How you doing? Ha ha ha! I love the wave. It's so useful. Oh, okay. Nothing else going on. I thought we triggered another uh, enemy or something, but no, not quite yet. Key phrase, not yet. Well, hello. Heavy defense turret, huh? Well, we'll deal with that. All right. And boom. We're done. At least that. Uh, of course it's locked. Computer? I can slice in the computer. Okay. Let's look at the north room. Turn the... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Return to a system override. South security camera room. Computer room, rather. Okay. There's one posted there. Guard post. Oh, uh, well. Too, uh, too late for all that. Since they're already dead. So, west guard post. Really? I can't do anything with those ones? That's hilarious, considering... Um, I have, I have spikes to burn. Might as well. <laughs> Armory interior. That was where we just were doing all of that stuff. The exterior. Okay. And the prototype, prototype droid. That's where we're at. No, let's not do that. Uh, obelisk corridor. Huh. And it won't let me do anything there. Fair enough. North corridor. Okay. Alright. Not much else that we can do here. Well, hello. There we go. Alright. That's just going to be how this goes. And then just do that. And we'll just let this play out. There we go. Went beautifully. Oh. This was where all the torture on Bastila happened. I see. All right. There we go. Well, hello, droid. How you doing? Bye. <laughs> I destroyed it before the other two could figure out their pathing. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. All right, time to open the temple door. Did I already empty this out? Yes, I did. Okay. So we go this way. No, wait, not this way. What am I thinking? We go out here, then go this way. Huh. Didn't expect that. I don't know why I didn't expect that, but I didn't expect that. Well, hello. You are going to die now. Bye. Alright. Now let's open up all of this. Eh. Meh. 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 Not a lot going on in this room. <laughs> Not 
Not a lot at all. Well, hello, Assault Droid. Gonna have fun with you. And your buddy, the Sith Acolyte over here. Who's also not going to last much longer. And bye. That just went how it usually does. Which is pure death to the Sith. Alright. Well, hello. Sith Acolyte, huh? Damn. They dead. What's special with this computer? Oh, I don't even need spikes to get into this. Alright. Nothing special. Well, oh, nothing more special than what I already did. So. I still can't get into there, huh? Alright. Okay. Well, since the big massive door I can't open... And the other door, or the other path, led just to the catacombs. Why am I here again? <laughs> I forgot. Wait, what? I didn't... Ah! I didn't go in here for these locker stuffs. I didn't know I could. Powered light battle armor. Powered battle armor. Huh. I'm pretty sure I already looted those. Just guess just those lockers over there I didn't loot. Oops. Okay. Well. Go this way. Head over to the actual critical path. Which is this way. I'm assuming that pathway, the one I'm looking at there, is from the massive door that I can't get into. So, if I can't get into it, there's nothing else I can do. So I guess I have to go in the catacombs, because that's the only option I have. Well, hello there. There we go. That should do it. Perfect. Hey, beautiful. Time for heals and stat bonuses, according to Jolie. There. All right. Data pad. Okay. Uh, let's go to new items. Look at that data pad. Wow, I have a lot of items first. It's not a usable or equipable item. Well, duh. Novice Sith such as yourself cannot be trusted to remember even simple tasks. Acolyte. Wow. It is therefore prudent for your masters to explain themselves at length using very small words. The ancient sequencer on the lower levels can only be activated once all of the sequencer tiles on the floor have been set to their active mode by walking on them in the correct pattern. Oh, it's a puzzle. Okay. To make all the tiles the same color, simply walk the tiles in the pattern of an H. I trust there will not be another unfortunate incident like the last time well we'll find out won't we just gonna blow through all those there we go and then go right back to all perfect then there's all of these mines ow 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 uh, actually i could use just a med pack beautiful and go right back to my shield rune covered pillar Another Sabbath crystal. Well. Now it's getting more attractive for me to use those on other things. 
on other weapons. Wait, what? Did I see another? Maybe I was just locking onto that other one. Temple interior. I think that's where I just came from, so that's a no. Okay. Oh, boy. To open the massive door, I need to do this puzzle. Well, at least the solo mode is on. It has to be in the shape of an H. Okay. This is going to be where the fun begins. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Ha. Alright, this at least resets it. Alright. No. I get the puzzle, game. You don't need to show it to me again. Uh, boy. Let's try resetting it again. Okay. Um, what? Alright. Just to... Doing this with this much screen is an ordeal. Let me tell you. Jesus. Okay. Hmm. This is difficult, but I'm sure I will prevail eventually. <laughs> as long as I brute force it. As long as I brute force it, it should be fine, right? Right? Right. Totally. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. <clears throat> could you not? Could you not? Game, could you not? Thank you. Hmm. All right. This ain't correct in the slightest. Okay. Oh, boy. This is going to be something. Let me tell y'all. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, hmm. 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 Nope. That didn't work. That. Nope, still didn't work. Balls. Balls. So close, and yet so far. Uh... <laughs> oh, this sucks. Okay. I did this badly. Let's try this again, huh? Eh? Is it the H that'll work? Tile pattern incorrect. Okay. So it's an H, just not in the H that I did here. Okay, well. Uh, 
All right. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I am almost. I think I almost got it. Just need to do this. No. Nope. I was about to say, I don't know why they all came back. I did not press the button for them to come back. And that's what screwed up the whole thing. Alright. Nope. Nope. Let's try this again. Alright, let's go around... Struggling with the camera is also the main issue here. It's the majority of the problem. Uh, boy. What? Why, every time I swing by them, they do this again? I don't understand. Maybe if I just manually do it, they'll just stay there? I don't fucking know. I was about to lose my mind. <laughs> All right. Almost. Not quite. Nope. Not that way. Mm, almost. Not quite. Still. Almost, but not quite. Oh, wait. Every time I think I almost get it, I then screw it up because I'm trying to maneuver and I can't get the camera to stop acting up. No. All right. Okay. I... <clears throat> this is the biggest problem with putting these sort of puzzles into these sort of games. You're fighting the camera actively to complete the puzzle that won't let you progress otherwise. And that is the most infuriating part. Is that I can do everything right, but the moment I do just the slightest thing wrong, because the camera doesn't want to cooperate with me, it just fucks the entire thing up. There's not much I can do about it. It's just not. All right. And almost, I think. Nope. Maybe. I did it. I did it. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. <sighs> I have to take a bit to just calm down. I was about ready to become Sith just because of that fucking puzzle. 
That's how bad it was. All right. Okay. Ricotta computer. Let's interact with that. Welcome back, Revan. It has been some time since you last accessed my database. I was beginning to wonder if you had been terminated. I'm not Revan anymore. I'm Farron Khan. An odd statement, though it does explain certain conflicting data being read by my sensory input systems. I recognized your appearance from your last visit, which is stored in my databanks. However, I am detecting some significant changes in your composition since your last visit. Your neurological patterns exhibit subtle yet substantive alterations in both thought patterns and information processing. These changes have been noted and recorded in my database. What are you? I am a completely self-sufficient, autonomous, interactive database constructed by the Rakata to record and store the entire history of the species. However, since the collapse of the Infinite Empire, there have been few events worth recording, and nobody has sought to access the information stored within my database until you came along. Due to my system's ability to monitor and repair themselves, you will find all the data within my archives has remained fully intact. Please choose this as a topic you wish information on. Genetic data on the Rakata. My storage banks contain significant quantities of information on this subject, compiled through hundreds of years of research and study. Please wait while I load the information onto a data pad for your future reference. Processing. Information transfer complete. Is there anything else you require, Revan? Well, that tells me that I absolutely could get that info. That was necessary for the good guys, the elders. Um, how do I shut off the disruptor field around this planet? The disruptor field was constructed as the Star Forge's primary defense against enemy attack and can only be deactivated from the upper levels of the temple. How do I get to the upper levels? My systems control the doors to the upper levels, allowing only those who are worthy of the Rakata legacy to pass. The last time you were here, Revan, I unsealed the doors for you. However, the subtle neurological changes I detected in you earlier likely caused a failure in the recognition system that would have opened the doors for you. I have updated my databases to recognize the new configurations in your mind. The doors to the upper levels will once again open for you. Well, that's great to know. So I just head back and then we go through the open doors, the big massive doors that I couldn't go through before. Alrighty. Um, do you know anything about the star maps? The star maps were built on conquered worlds as a symbol of Rakatan dominance and glory. Each map showed the whole expanse of the Infinite Empire, with the Star Forge at the center. When the Empire fell, the Rakata fled back here to their homeworld. They sabotaged the star maps so the enslaved species could not use them to discover the Star Forge or this planet. But I used them to find this place. The star maps were created with the same technology as my own self-sufficient systems. Over the millennia, the maps have been slowly rebuilding and repairing themselves. As you informed me during your last visit to this world, the star maps are still in a damaged and incomplete state. It is not possible to locate the Star Forge using a single map. However, the star maps have repaired themselves to the extent that it is possible to discover the Star Forge's location by combining bits of data from several of the maps, as you did. Hmm. Huh. Well, that fills in that plot hole. All right. Um, the history of the Infinite Empire. At its peak, the Infinite Empire ruled over 500 planets and was comprised of 10 billion Rakata and over a trillion slaves. Oh, Jesus. But the glory of the Infinite Empire was built on war and slaughter. It was inevitable it would collapse on itself. Conflict among power-hungry warlords escalated into full civil war. Worlds were ravaged and millions of lives were lost. Sensing the weakness of their oppressors, the slaves rebelled and overthrew their masters. And then came the plague. The plague. Its origins were unknown, perhaps the creation of an enslaved species, perhaps a mutation of a natural virus. It killed only Rakata, and it spread to every corner of the galaxy. The Infinite Empire crumbled into dust as a few Rakata survivors fled back here to their homeworld. All evidence of their existence was destroyed by the species they enslaved. 
But even hidden here on their secret homeworld where they were not safe, millions died from the deadly plague. Many more died in the never-ending civil war. The history of the Rakata ended 20,000 years ago. Now they are nothing but a few scattered tribes descended from the priest and warrior castes, still waging our never-ending civil war. Okay, so the, the one was part of the warrior caste. That makes sense. And then the elders are the priests. Makes sense. Okay. Uh, how about telling me about the Starforge? The Starforge was constructed during the apex of the Infinite Empire's power, a true technological marvel. It is an enormous space station that serves as both factory and battle dreadnought. The battle, the, rather, the Starforge can mass produce immense fleets with a minimum of time and resources. In addition, the Starforge also shares much of the same technology used in my own construction. In many ways, the Starforge is like a living entity. It feeds, it hungers, it draws on the energy flowing through all living things what you call the force the last time you were here. This ability to feed and consume the living energy of the force is the key to the Starforge's power, but ultimately it was also what led to the destruction of the Infinite Empire. What do you mean? The Rakata are by nature a cruel and savage species. The Starforge fueled itself with the hatred inherent in its own creators, and in doing so, it accentuated these traits within the Builders. In your terminology, the Starforge is a tool of the dark side. It corrupts those who use it so that it can generate greater and greater amounts of negative energy to fuel itself. The Builders thought they were strong enough to control this effect, but they were wrong. They became victims of their own creation, and eventually their hatred turned them against each other. Civil war destroyed the Infinite Empire, a lesson to remember. Only one who is immensely strong in mind and will can harness the power of the Starforge without suffering a similar fate. Okay. So, I think that covers everything. Cool. Beautiful. So now I can go back up and deal with the problems up there. And I can't go through that door. Okay. Alrighty. Hmm. Huh. Well, with that done and completed, I think first off I'm going to make sure that I alter my lightsabers just slightly using that new uh, crystal that we picked up a while back. Uh, that was in this direction, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Okay. Cool. And then... Sigil was that... Doesn't give me as wide a range, but it does give me just an outright plus three, plus an extra point of attack. This crystallized material was excreted once every 11 years by the ancient Volus worm of Lwek, now extinct. It produces a more intense lightsaber beam, granting better control. Okay. When you say excreted... <laughs> You know what? I don't think I want to know. I don't think I want to know. Okay, so compared to Sigil, it brings it down from 322 to 519. That's still not terrible. That's still not terrible. And 524, that will bring that up to 721. Eh, that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. This one also has the additional physical and dark side damage, so it's fine. And they're both plus five. Cool. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Where is my entire team? Where are they? 
Where did they go? Oh, now they're here. Okay. Right when I'm complaining that I don't know where they're at. Um, is there anything better than these? No, not really. Could I possibly give her... No. No, they're not good. There's nothing better than what they're currently equipped with. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to run into you. Okay, we're going to go around again. Actually, you know what? We're at the end of the episode time. Technically. So, I guess I'll end the episode here for right now. And then we'll do the uh, main run into the big part of the temple in the next episode. Eh, cliffhangers. I love doing them. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. It can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and, well, doing a lot of trolling around the temple at this point. Destroyed all the Sith and the robots inside. And got data about the Rakata for the Elders. And then also learned uh, quite a bit about how the Star Forge operates and how it defends itself. Mainly fueled by dark side energy. It's just a feedback loop of dark side energy in on itself and will eventually taint any species that is not very strong-willed and very strong-minded uh, because it will just exacerbate the dark side energy loop until... They destroy themselves, apparently, which is what happened to the Ricotta. So hopefully we'll destroy it so either that doesn't happen anymore or we control it for the Republic. I don't know if that's an option. Probably isn't. It's worth a shot if that's possible. So we'll do that, maybe, for you.